Hello, and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through the many different options that you have for tabbed browsing in Microsoft Internet Explorer 7. You don't have to use tabbed browsing, but tabbed browsing provides a lot of options for managing multiple web pages at one time in your browser without having to open multiple windows, and therefore it can greatly improve your efficiency when browsing the web. So let's talk, work, walk you through some of the steps that it takes to initiate tabbed browsing. Now in my browser right now, I've set it up by default to have no tabbed browsing. So I'm going to show you what to do to turn it on if your tabbed browsing is not already turned on. I'm going to go to the Tools menu and select Internet Options. Once the Internet Options window pops up, on the first tab, the General tab, the one of the last areas near the bottom is the Tabs section. From there, you're going to click on the Settings button. And you'll see that ena Enable Tabbed Browsing is currently unchecked. And also note that it says in parentheses, Requires Restarting Internet Explorer. So I'm going to check this. And I'm going to click OK. And from the Internet Options window, I'm also going to click OK again. But I don't have tabbed browsing yet, because remember, it said I have to restart Internet Explorer. So I'm going to shut down this browser window. And I'm going to open a new window. And now my screen looks a little different than it did before. You can see that we have this, these tabs at the top. There is, of course, the single tab that it opens in. And then there's the second tab. It's like a tab in the background that you can use to create new tabs. So now that we have tab browsing enabled in the browser, let's take, take you through some of the options that you have. First of all, click on the new tab link right here. That's, the, that's what shows up on this little piece of a tab just to the right of any existing tab. When you do that, you can see I have mine set by default to open up to a blank tab. I can then use this for browsing to any other page. I'll go to the Google Images page. So you see we have Google and Google Images on two separate tabs that we can very easily and fluidly switch between without having to reload pages. Now from here, I'm also going to show you another way to open a new tab. See this link here to Google Maps? I'm going to right click on that link. And now when I look at the context menu, one of my options is open in new tab. So I'll do that as well. And it dutifully opens up a new tab here. And now I have three tabs going. I have the main Google page, I have Google Image Search, and I have Google Maps. Now what I want you to do is click the Quick Tabs button. Now, there's nothing on the screen that says Quick Tabs. That's just the name that's given to it. Although, if we scroll over it, you'll see it will pop up with a little hint that says Quick Tabs. Quick Tabs is this little item over here to the left of the first tab. It looks like four, a, a window with four panes. When I click on that, it will give me a visual representation of every tab that I currently have open. Essentially, it's a thumbnail for every tab that's currently working in the browser. Now, from here, you'll also see that when I scroll over these, it will highlight them, and I can right-click on one of them, and it will give me another context menu. Now, I'm going to show you here, we can, from one screen, refresh all. And you'll see actively on the screen, it will reload every tab that we have going in memory. And that can be extremely helpful if you're tracking a number of websites that have constant news or sports updates. Aside from that, you also have the option here to manage these tabs in aggregate. So we can close them. We can close all other tabs. We can also go individually to each one and close it from here by clicking on the X that shows up in the upper right from each one of these images. What I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to right click and then click close other tabs. And you'll see now it drops, drops me back to my single tab. 
Now, clicking on any one of these tabs actually brings you back to that tab in the middle of the browser. Now, once again, I'm going to open some new tabs. So I'll open the Google Maps. I'll open Google News. And for good measure, I will open Google Shopping. And remember before, we showed you the Quick Tabs button here, which gave you a visual representation of every tab that's currently open. You also have the Tab List button. And the Tab List button is, as the name implies, simply a list that pops down that allows you to quickly navigate from one to the next. Now that may not seem like that big of a deal right now because I have all these tabs listed across the top. I can just very easily click on them as so. But depending on the size of your browser and depending upon how many tabs you have open, you can see that as we continue to open tabs, we reach a situation where those tabs start to become very cramped. In fact, they'll even start to scroll off the screen. You'll see as I'm doing this now, we have this button over here, which is basically saying that you have more items over here to scroll to. And every time I click one of those, it takes me further over to the right. And now, going over here, it will help me to go further over to the left. So if I'm managing a lot of tabs that are open in the browser at any point in time, another way to manage them, aside from going to the Quick Tabs link, which can be extremely helpful in this situation because I have a visual, re visual representation of them all, I can also go just to the tabs list. And the tabs list basically looks like a favorites list. It shows me the title of every single page that's currently open in one of these tabs. And simply by clicking on them, I can navigate through the tabs as well. Now that I've shown you some of the, the basic ways to use tab browsing, I want to go back to the Tools options. I'm going to click on Tools, Internet Options, and Settings, because I just want to briefly explain what some of these other settings do once you've enabled your tab browsing. For example, by default, they like to have this one checked for you, Warn Me When Closing Multiple Tabs. What that means is if I were to go and close the browser right now, it would stop me first and say, are you basically, are you sure you want to close the browser because you have multiple tabs open? Well, quite frankly, that can get rather annoying, so I like to have that unchecked. There's also an option here that says, open home page for new tabs instead of a blank page. Remember, when I was opening new tabs before, it just had a blank page there. But you can have it by default go to your home page every time you open a, open a new tab. It just depends on how often you plan to use that home page when you're opening new tabs because it will, of course, take at least some small amount of time for each one of those to load. And finally, one that I find to be extremely helpful is for pop-ups because it says always open pop-ups in a new tab. I always check this option because even if some pop-ups get through the pop-up blocker, this will still open them, open them in other tabs rather than opening brand new windows. In this way, I only ever open a brand new window when I choose to do so. It's very convenient. And finally, you have the restore defaults option, which will take you back to the way that it was when you first opened your browser for the first time. I'll click OK and click OK and go back to my main screen. That concludes this tutorial, and thank you for using showmeacademy.com.